You know, Murph, I think we make a great team. What can I do for you? She's dead? And she was living right here for years. How do you always find yourself right in the middle of everything? <laughs> you have a gift, my friend. <laughs> He'd go on into these weird trances and talk about past life stuff. You know, pretty intriguing until you get to where he starts going on about Atlantis. Uh, no. Uh, we were talking about some stuff. Uh, Tesla, Romanovs, Fabergé, that sort of thing. He sure seems to know a lot about everything. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Sorry, I don't know a lot of people, except the ones that come in here. Due to my restrictive protocols, I can only confirm that Count St. Germain is currently a guest at our hotel. You're talking about the speeder I saw take off after the shooting? What I can tell you for certain is the last two digits on the license plate. They were the numbers six and three. crazy what happened to Margaret Leonard. Is everything okay with you and the cops? Yeah, the cops would love to pin it on me, but I think it's all tied to a Mason Bowers who was abducted outside the Ritz a couple of nights ago. I'm just trying to find anybody who might have seen something. Oh, well then you probably need to talk to Sapphire. Sapphire? Sounds like some Greek oracle. Well, I don't know if she's Greek or not, but she's definitely exotic looking. And she's one of your fellow tenants. Her door's decorated like a French nightmare, but it suits her business. So. If you hear any noises you can't identify, you might want to come back later. Not a clue. It's a damn shame what happened to that little lady. And I'm not crazy about what it did to her apartment either. Well, this is a nice surprise. Sapphire. What a beautiful, if somewhat misleading name. Thanks, Tex. You know just what to say to please a lady. Wow, is that a, uh, what kind of contraption is that? What brings New San Francisco's sexiest PI to my door? Business or pleasure? Pleasure is my business. <sighs> How disappointing. Well, we could use that home gym in there to work off some stress. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a happy ending, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's all anybody wants, right? I mean, and they lived happily ever after, that kind of thing. <sighs> Fine. If you don't want to scratch each other's backs, but what if I don't play ball? Can we still rough and tumble? Well, Sapphire, don't make me twist your arm. Oh. <laughs> you can't make me talk. <laughs> we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Excuse me? Are you threatening me? Because if you are, I'd love to see you try the hard way. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Tex. I got carried away. I didn't mean to hurt you. At least not like that. Do you forgive me? Yeah, sure. Could you answer a few questions? I'm all yours, Mr. Murphy. You're a tough guy who thinks he's above the law. 
What girl doesn't like to get a little turned on by that kind of man? First, I hear people running around up in your apartment. Then the speeder lands outside. I hear some man yelling and screaming outside the Ritz. Then he runs off with some other people chasing him. After a bit, he comes back and I hear him outside my window. Sounds like he's talking to himself. Then two other guys catch him, shove him into the speeder. Then I hear gunshots and the speeder takes off. It's not the nicest place in town, but you can't beat the prize. It's a live and let live kind of place. That's not my kind of store. What's she got that I don't? I can tell you one thing that I've got that she doesn't. Gets along with everybody, makes great food. I only met you a couple years ago. So I don't know what you were like before, but I like what I see now. It ain't just your ass that's bad. So spunky and I love spunk. That's the guy you think got abducted? I saw him around a few times coming to see you. I thought. He's been videotaping the Ritz That scumbag detective has been watching me for months. Rook's one of my best customers. His tastes aren't as old fashioned as you might think. Runs the electronic shop, though he's hardly ever there. But that place will literally kill you. No idea who that is. After Clint took over ownership of the Ritz from Nilo, things got a lot better. He even removed all the bugs and hidden cameras. That sweet lady used to live here. It looked black or midnight blue at first, but when the light hit it just right, hmm, I could see that it was actually close to Sapphire, which of course I would remember. Um, you do know she's a he, right? With the strength of ten ordinary men. Hello, Murphy. How goes the investigation? Interesting fellow. He was particularly interested in anything to do with Nikola Tesla. He mentioned that he stayed at the Golden Gate Hotel. The uh, a speeder that flew away after the gunshots I heard? Well, I'm not sure what type it was, uh, but I did notice that the interior was very unusual. It was uh, all white. I'm quite certain she was on the run from someone or something. I took care of her as much as she'd let me. I'm very sad she's gone. Yes, I'm sure that Margaret's items came from the Tesla cash, though the pieces she gave me to sell weren't nearly as valuable as rumors would have you believe. More questions? Why you gotta keep coming back with more questions? I remember her, sweet little old lady. Used to see her around the neighborhood years ago. Don't remember the last time I saw her. Yeah, there was a speeder that took off right after the gunshots. Saw it in my rearview mirror. I got a thing for high-end speeders. This was a 48 Pandian. Sweet ride. Still can't believe I'm working with the one and only Tex Murphy. What can I do for you, sir? That's the witch. At least that's what I call her. A couple times I've seen this old lady sneaking around the neighborhood. Would if I could.
I hope you don't mind, Mike. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, just so they know it's the old text they're dealing with. Let me know what else I can do for you. A big guy? Talks like he should be on the radio. Yeah, he came in the other day. Didn't seem too impressed with my uh, cuisine. So this is the speeder you think took off after those gunshots and the abduction the other day. I do remember seeing a vehicle. I didn't get the license plate or nothing. I just saw it was one of them nice Pandians. The Bi-Turbo XL model. Well, I finally gather enough data to identify the kidnap vehicle. It's registered to a company called Seisan, and the location appears on my map. I check out Say San was smart, Alex, and find out it's some sort of doomsday cult recruiting candidates for a brave new world. And they believe this world will arrive soon. These boys take their schoolwork seriously. Force field blocking the entrance. I wonder if there's a mechanism around here that could turn it off. Well, there's some interesting symbols written on these pillars. Well, there's some interesting symbols written on these pillars. Unfortunately, I arrive at Seisan and set off every alarm possible. I'm missing a token that would grant me entry inside. I head back to my office to devise a new strategy when I find a fax waiting for me. Someone's been watching over my shoulder and it's not a comforting feeling. An anonymous informant wants to meet me at Coit Tower. Yep, this is a great idea. Just waiting to meet some anonymous chap who still sends faxes. You know, he probably uses real bullets. I think you need to be a little more trusting of people. Tax, tax, I'm plugged into the internet. The internet, and you want me to trust people? <laughs> a good point. <laughs> Hello, mate. Slade? How? What? Uh, weren't you in... Locked up in San Quentin till 2260? No, not me. Good behavior. Well, 
I'm glad you've turned over a new leaf. I'm a big fan of forgiving and forgetting. Mostly forgetting. So what don't you remember? Uh, just the last seven years. So you don't remember everything after you and Chelsea got nicked? Chelsea's brother? The Englishwoman, Juliet? Our little partnership? Our partnership? Look, I know we just made up, but I think I'd rather lick toilets with my tongue than work with you. Ah, but you did, Tex. I did? Which one? Work with me. And it paid a lot better than licking dunnies. How do you think you made all that money? These past few years have been, shall we say, mutually beneficial. But now it seems the same old Tex, the Boy Scout, is back. That's a problem. You want to know what's wrong with the Boy Scouts? Not a darn thing. So you've been helping us track down this precious little egg. First you say you got it, then you say Margaret Lennon stole it. Next thing I know you turn up at Saison tripping security alarms like some clueless amateur. Well, what the hell was that all about? For your information, I set those alarms off on purpose, and I don't have to tell you why. Always got to do everything the hard way, don't you, Tex? This will get you in the say, Sam. Hope you know what you're doing. I'll give you 24 hours to find that egg. And then I'm gonna come looking for you. And you know I'll find you. You can be hung over from things other than alcohol. My meeting with Slade left me shivering like I had the DTs. This guy and I were partners over the last seven years. There's trouble in my soul and it's become as cold as ash. The further I see down the barrel, the more dangerous and diabolical my world becomes.